All right, here again we have another um, interesting kind of pattern. So let's look, before we look at any of our formulas or anything, let's just look at this problem. It says we have x cubed minus 8. So we're going to factor this. Remember your first rule of factoring is always to pull out a GCF if there's one. In this case there's not. So we have to move to looking at how many different terms we have. In this case we have two terms. Now, when we the last video we talked about differences of squares, but you'll notice that this is not a perfect square, is it? This is a cube, so we need to have a couple of other patterns then. We do have some formulas or some patterns when we need to factor perfect cubes. We actually have two different formulas for these. We have, if we have a sum of two cubes, we use this formula or if we have a difference of two cubes, we use this formula. Remember, sum meaning plus, difference meaning a subtraction. In this case here, we have a subtraction of two perfect cubes. So we're going to use this um, pattern or formula in order to help us factor this. So I'm going to move this up a little so we can see it. Okay, in order for us to be able to use that pattern, again, it's really nice if we can see exactly what's being cubed. So I'm going to rewrite this as something cubed minus something cubed. Now the first part is not bad because x cubed gives us x cubed. But what do we have to cube to get 8? And that would be a 2. By doing this, we can see now what our a value is and what our b value is. And then we can just use the formula. So this will factor into, remember using our pattern here, a minus b, which in this case would be x minus 2 times we take the a and we square it. So this time we would take the x and square it. That would be x squared plus the a times the b. So that would be x times 2, which is 2x plus the b and square that. So take the 2 and square it which would be 4. We just follow the pattern specifically. Okay, for the next one here, again, we've got two terms. Well, there's no GCF for us to factor out, but this time this is a sum of two cubes. And I've already moved my screen up so you can't really see what that looked like, but our pattern said Oops, if we have a cubed plus b cubed, that will factor into a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So I'll write that again where we can see that as we go. So again, it would be really nice if we could see exactly what's being squared, or cubed rather. So something cubed plus something cubed. Well, the first part is not bad. That's a z. Second part, 64, what do we have to cube to get 64? And that would be a 4. Now we know what is our a value and what is our b value. So we can use our pattern now. The pattern says take a plus b, so that would be z plus 4. And then it says take the a value and square it, so that would be z squared minus the a times the b, so z times 4, which would be 4z, and then plus the b value squared. So we have to take our 4 and square it, which would be 16. Now this is the way that this factors. Now by using this um, difference in sum of two cubes formula, actually even though you're getting a trinomial as part of your answer, that will not factor down any further.